We're coming to you from the unceded traditional territory of the Squamish, Musqueam, and Slayway Tooth Nations here at Britannia Art Gallery to introduce Tyler Wilson, one of the artists exhibiting here during the month of March. Tyler, you're a photographer. Can you tell us a little bit about the work that is hanging at Britannia right now? Um, yeah, it is. Um, I'm also uh, live kind of around the Britannia neighborhood around Commercial Drive and um, all the photos that I chose for the show um, kind of highlight um, the neighborhood and what I love about it. That's great. I, I have uh, looked over your images and they are quite stunning. Can you um, tell us about certain pieces that will be in the show? Uh, yeah, I can tell you about this one I have here. Uh, this one is titled uh, Lang in Thornton Park. Um, Thornton Park, if you don't know, is the large grassy area uh, that's right adjacent to Main Street uh, Station, down, uh, down by the train station down there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is a, uh, it's a double exposure photo. I do, it, all my photography is um, shot with like old analog cameras and I kind of use the um, little quirks and uh, personalities that each camera has kind of to my advantage to kind of create like happy accidents and you know eventually through learning it you kind of learn how to manipulate those uh those personalities of the camera uh, so this was shot uh using an old camera from the 50s like an old uh tlr like if you can picture those old cameras with two lenses on it it's one of those and i was literally laying in the park on a sunny day shooting the uh, trees and just shot a couple, a couple images over the same piece of film. Um, and the film I was using was also kind of an experimental film that like really highlights purples over, uh, over any of the other colors of the spectrum. It's kind of, um, it kind of manipulates, kind of uh, copies this old, old type of film called infrared. Uh, so through developing through the camera, and through uh, manipulating the um, uh, the personality of the camera, I was able to develop this kind of uh, almost abstract photo of the trees in, in Thornton Park. Mm -hmm. I was actually just going to also mention that um, this is a print that has never actually touched a computer. Oh. Uh, I do uh, like all my own film developing as well as uh, printing my own photos in the darkroom. Cool. So this was. Uh, printed through a process called RA4, which is the old fashioned process for, uh, for printing color photos in the darkroom. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you think of a darkroom, it's usually black and white. You know, you have that like red safe light on. Whereas when you're doing color, it's kind of a much more of a finicky process and it's all done like in complete darkness. Oh my gosh. So it's not... <laughs> It's not as popular as, as black and white dark room printing. It's mm -hmm. a lot more finicky, but it's been a fun process learning that. Right. And it's kind of nice that I, I started doing that about two years ago. And since then it's actually gotten more popular. So the materials and the chemicals have gotten easier to find. Like before I'd have to actually go down to the US to pick it up. Whereas now it's, you can find it locally. So that's, that's good cool. for me. <laughs> That was Tyler Wilson, one of the artists at the Britannia Art Gallery. His work will be up from March 2nd to April 1st down here at 1661 Napier Street in the heart of East Vancouver. Hours of operation are on our website, along with a contact form, if you would like to contact Tyler in person about his incredible work. We do hope you can come down and see his work in person.